let's factor a couple challenging problems that are actually they're both going to be difference of cubes. So, uh, and they, they have unusual exponents, and the second one's going to have the greatest common factor to get out of it before we can start doing the work. So, take a look at this this problem. A to the ninth, b to the twelfth, c to the fifteenth. You know, how do I know it's not the difference of squares? We've studied that as well too. But difference of squares, the exponent has to be even. Um, the number 9 is not even. You cannot write something times itself that adds to be 9. You can't have the same two exponents that will add to be 9. So it's not a difference of squares. It does have a difference, a minus sign. If these exponents are all divisible by 3, then it will be a cubes problem. And you'll kind of see that as we find out what our a value and our b value is. So here's what I'm going to ask of you. If I want to know what my a value is to put into this formula, I have to ask you, how about here, let's go with this here. A to what, mm, didn't mean to say that, but I'm going to go ahead and write that. I'm going to go ahead and erase this. A to what power when I cube it? Remember, I'm going to take A value and cube it. What do I need right here? The shorthand um, process here when raising a power to a power is to multiply. What number has to go there so that it multiplies together to be 9? And I need a 3 right there. A to the 3rd raised to the 3rd is A to the ninth. So my capital A value in this problem is A cubed. I'm looking for my capital B value next. So I'm, I'm over here thinking about uh, B and C. They have to be raised to some power. And when I cube them, whatever I put here for an, for an exponent, when I cube it, i got to get a 12. So don't I need a 4 here? Because the shortcut is to multiply those. And don't I need a 5 here? Because the shortcut is to multiply those. So I discover that my capital B value is B to the 4th, C to the 5th. Because when I cube that, I get B to the 12th and C to the 15th. Would you also notice that if you took this number and divided it by 3, you get your exponent. Divide that by 3, you get your exponent. 15 divided by 3 is my exponent. And now I'm going to get rid of this just so it doesn't complicate things. Now I go ahead and put in for my a and b values these expressions. So for I want to give myself a little bit of extra room. So for my a value, I'm going to put in little a cubed minus sign, minus sign. And my b value is b to the fourth, c to the fifth. And now... Be careful, I've got to take my A value, my capital A, which is just a little a cubed. And I have to square that. So I'm going to put that in parentheses and remember to square it. And then I've got to take my A value, which is a cubed, and I've got to multiply that by my B value, which is b to the fourth, c to the fifth. And finally, this is always a plus sign. Remember, this one matches opposite and positive. And my b value in this problem is b to the fourth, c to the fifth, and that has to be, that has to be squared. And so, um, now I just get to recopy this binomial, so I have a cubed minus b to the fourth, c to the fifth, and right here I have a to the sixth. I've got to simplify that, and this doesn't require any parentheses any, anymore, I'm just going to keep it in alphabetical order. And then finally, when I take b to the 4th and square it, I get b to the 8th. And c to the 5th squared is c to the 10th. And this is the factored form of a to the 9th minus b to the 12th, c to the 15th. You could multiply it out if you'd like to check it and see if you're correct. Kind of a hard one. All of these divisible by 3 tells me it's a, a cube problem. Let's do one more. So the problem that I have for you, I'll write that down first while you're catching up with me, is 128y to the 7th minus 250x to the 6th y. I'm going to put a little line here between my memorized formula and my actual problem. Let's get rid of all this. Okay. So, 
Uh, I'm looking at this and I'm going, huh, difference, two terms, cubes, you know. No, not divisible by three. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to look for my greatest common factor first. There's a Y here and there's at least a Y here. I wonder about these numbers. I wonder if there's a common factor in them. They're both even. So I'm guessing two maybe, you know, I, I might process that a little bit more, but let's just try getting out a two Y out of this expression. Because what do I do? I need a 64 here. Two times 64 is 128. And y to the first times y to the sixth is y to the seventh. And when I take a two out of that, I have 125. x to the sixth, that y right there is already covered. And this is starting to look like the difference of cubes. Both of these exponents are divisible by three. And I know the cubed root of 64 is four. And I know the cubed root of 125 is five. So let's come over here and let's establish that in this binomial right here, my a value is 4y squared. 6 divided by 3 is 2. My b value is 5x squared. 6 divided by 3 is that 2. Those are the values I'm going to put in over there for A and B. I've got to be sure to give myself a lot of room, so I'm not going to go right under here. I'm going to, I'm going to lean a little bit this way. So I'm going to take my A value, which is 4Y squared, minus my B value, which is 5X squared. So there's my binomial. Now, I need to take the 4Y squared, and I need to square that. So that's going to become 16Y to the fourth. This sign has to be opposite that sign, and it has to be my a value, or y squared, times my b value, 5x squared, a times b. This is always a plus sign, and it is my b value, which is 5x squared, and that quantity has to be squared. So that b value has to be squared. This is what always has to be cleaned up. This is typically just fine. So that binomial, 4y squared minus 5x squared, and then 4y squared times 4y squared is 16y to the fourth. Four times five is 20. We tend to put it in alphabetical order, 20x squared, y squared. And 5x squared times 5x squared is 25x to the fourth. And this is my factored form of this statement right here. But don't forget, way back at the beginning, you took a greatest common factor out. Let me get rid of this. And that was a factor of 2y. And this is my factored form of that original binomial. Sum of difference of cubes. Um, Got to have these formulas memorized. Got to be able to state what your a and b value is. And then just plug them in.